Okay, so in the uh, first uh, previous one, uh, we see in that the Gaussian elimination method. So when you are constructing uh, a triangularized form in order to solve the linear system by using Gaussian method, uh, there are three cases. So Gaussian Gaussian elimination method cases. So there are three cases. So uh, there are three cases. So first case will be when you are constructing uh, your upper triangularized uh, matrix. It can be something like this. Uh, let's say um, let me take let me take some example. Okay, uh, so your matrix can be like this 0, 2, 4, 0, 0, 3, and let's say 10, 5, 3. So in this case, uh, you will be having a solution because uh, from up at uh, bottom to up, we can uh, iteratively solve each and every uh, equation. So the theory is if the triangular form last element, which is known as TNN, is not zero, TNN is not zero. In the case one, there will be a unique solution for your system. Unique solution for the linear system. And the second case is so case two. The second case we have our matrix, but uh, let's say the last row is uh, last element producing zero. And we have corresponding values. So in this case, uh, our TNN is zero, and this this uh, known constant is known as CNN. So CNN is not zero. So the second case is TNN is zero, and CNN is not zero. So such a case, your system has no solution. You can uh, try it out yourself by try to solve it. Uh, it won't produce any solution because it is impossible to solve. Uh, let's say this this is uh, relevant to some kind of a C unknown. So if you try it, it as like this, zero three equal to three, this is wrong because any given real value, when you are multiplying it by zero, it can't produce zero. So there is no solution. So, there is no solution. Uh, so, if your uh, linear system have a solution, such a linear system is known as a consistent system. So, your system is consistent. So, if your uh, system have a solution, it can be unique or it can be not unique, but the system is consistent system is consistent and if you have no solution at all then your system is not consistent which is incons inconsistent inconsistent so that's the second case and okay i'm out of space so i'll just move upward So in the third case, case three, a minute. Uh, okay. So in the case 
3 your system will be like this 0 2 4 0 0 0 10 5 0 so in this case uh, both our t n n is 0 and c n n is also 0 so this is the third case t n n is 0 and c n n is also 0 so such a case your system has infinitely many solutions because now because now we are uh, lack of one linear equation which means since there is having three unknowns we have only two linear equations so one uh, unknown will be any kind of real number so when we are putting any real number it will produce uh, acceptable solution so since there are infinitely many real numbers and there are there will be infinitely many solutions so the system will be having infinitely many solutions so the system has infinitely many solutions it is not unique but each and every solution is acceptable so since each and every uh, solution is acceptable so such a system is also consistent so these are the three cases about uh, Gaussian elimination method so I will just uh, write it as like this. So the case one is T N N is not zero, and C N N uh, can be any real number. The case two is basically T N N is zero, and C N N is not zero. The case three is both TNN and CNN are zero. So in this case, system is consistent, consistent because system has a unique solution. System has a unique solution. In the case two system is inconsistent, inconsistent. So system has no solution at all. And the case three again system is consistent and system has infinitely many solutions so those are the three cases that you can acquire uh, or that you can occur when you are solving a linear system uh, by using this Gaussian elimination method